So you have a few products, but you don't see those directly into the collections. I'm going to show you what are the common issues in your collection so you can fix them out. So first of all, what you need to do, of course, is to make sure that the products are visible and available for the correct sale channel. So for that, I'm going to close my preview and go directly inside my home dashboard of the Shopify. So once we are into the administrator dashboard, let's go directly into the left hot, which is products in the left hand menu. Now let's select the product that isn't showing up into your collection. So before I do this, I just wanted to make sure that I go here into my collections and I have a collection section of my store. So let's go for create a collection, for example. I'm gonna go for a title, I'm gonna name this Halloween and go for save. Now I have the collection, I'm gonna go for products. Now here into products, I'm gonna select my product. And now we are inside the editor of the section here. Now really important, uh, what you need to do, of course, is to ensure that your products are correctly assigned to the relevant collection. On the same product page, uh, you want to make sure that inside collections, inside here your collections that you want to focus on, here you have selected products. Here what you can do is to add them manually or automatically. In this case, I'm going to add them manually because I want to verify that my products are inside this collection. So in this case, I select here and I go for add. Now, I know that this product has not been added into my collection. So, select the product that you want to appear into your collection and go for view. If you're using automated collections, the issue might be with the collection conditions. So, in this case, my collection appears here automatically. But, if you do this automatically, let's say they go for create collection. I title this women, for example, and I choose automated and I go for save. Now you should see that we don't have any product tag is equal to nothing. So for example, if I look out for women's clothing, I can add different conditions. For example, here I add spring essentials, cotton and much more. So usually this condition should be added into the product tag. So I want to make sure that I have saved this element. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to save this once again. And if I go back, Let's go for collections. And here I have the woman. I select it. And here I have this product automatically. If it doesn't appear, then what you need to do is to add the product tag. In this case, all my product tag that says women clothing should appear here into this collection. So to edit that, focus into the left says products. I select one of my product. And here into the right side, here we have the product type. So if I select the product type, let's say that I look out for women clothing and into the tax, I look out for women's clothing and I go for save and save once again. That means if I go back into my product collection and I reload this collection, I should see that my product is now being appearing inside here. Once again, if it doesn't appear, then what we need to do is to make sure that you had added the right tax. So for example, here I have the tag of collection, the bundle, and even what I can do is to make sure that here into the collections, if you can, you can do this manually, just add them directly inside the. Now, in this case, my products appear inside this collection, but it doesn't appear inside my preview website. So that means that I just needed to wait a few minutes till this process has not been added automatically. And now as you can see, it appears with no problem. Now, ensure that your collection is linked to the navigation menu. If I go back into Shopify, let's go directly into my online store. Inside the online store, focus directly into navigation. Inside navigation, I wanted to make sure that I have checked here the main menu bar and inside the main menu, I have my catalog. But I wanted to add my collection. I wanted to see that my collection is appearing here. Instead of just focusing to collections, I wanted to make sure that here have a drop down section that says collection and I have all my collections, right? So for that, I want to go into the navigation that I just chose. I select my menu items. Here is the collections and I'm going to add women, for example. And here I'm going to go for collections and I look out for women and I go for add. Now I'm going to select this, drag a little bit to the right and just drop down, saved and reload the page. And now my collections be appearing in here. Once again, this might be taking a few minutes to be
be locating the peering into your website, but this is how we can actually do this process. So refresh and clear your cliche after you have done this process. So after making all of these changes, you can just make sure that you can just clear all your browser cliches and cookies to check the site. It's an incognito window. You can do this process to make sure it actually looks great. And well, those are a few elements of how you can make sure that your collection, your products are now appearing into your collections. See? And there you go. Really easy process. So, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything into the future. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and well, hopefully you can all see you next time.